Time is ticking to catch the serial killer targeting San Diego's homeless. Police are following dozens of tips after the only suspect was just released yesterday. 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is downtown with how his release is triggering fear on the streets. Rachel. The latest murder happened in between two apartment buildings just down from that city park. A young man was sleeping over here in the grass alone. Flowers now sit in his memory and a couple of cards, including this one that reads, you were far too young to die this horrible way. The system let you down. A kind stranger drops off lunch. Some chips and a water. Ryan Pastana shares this tent with four other guys. I mean, we set up camp. We just got actually just blessed with this tent last night. They sleep in ships, finding safety in numbers. Find a small group that you can trust. Outreach groups continue trying to warn the homeless that the serial killer targeting them is still out there. But with no access to TV or the Internet, getting the word out can be tough. Nobody really does inform us about this kind of stuff. His mom told him about Anthony Paget's release. Police arrested Paget in the gruesome murders of three homeless men. A fourth is in grave condition. The men, all beaten, stabbed, then set on fire. Paget told 10 News they had the wrong guy. We look like the person we're innocent. Paget looks like the guy seen in this surveillance video buying gas a couple blocks from one of the murders. He was also convicted in 2010 of setting someone on fire. Back on the street, though, there was doubt. Our question was whether or not they even caught the right person to begin with. Derek Vahidi lived with his aunt but was homeless off and on. I spoke with the homicide captain this afternoon. He would not say if they are following Anthony Paget. He wouldn't discuss any investigative tactics, but he did say the tips continue to pour in. Reporting downtown, Rachel Bianco, 10 News.